this video is kind of an add-on to the track distribution video that I had previously made because I realized that I said that I was going to show what we were handing out and then I never did. So this is the packet that we hand out. Um, let me zoom in here a little bit. You can see here these. this is a door hanging bag. <clears throat> right there is the hole for the doorknob very very fast you can take this thing and you can just go right up to the door and hang it on go on to the next house it's planting seed okay it's not so much the Bible talks about planting watering and harvesting as a seed planter if that's what the Lord's called you into doing your job is to get as many seeds out as possible this is a one very good way to do it and but what we are running into is a lot of people we go to their doors and they were thinking that we were Jehovah's Witnesses or Mormons and the reason for that is because Christians don't go out and plant seeds anymore you know we're one of the very few uh, ministries in this area that actually goes out door to door and we've been told that we run into Christians and they say you know I remember we used to do that at the church where I grew up but boy we don't anymore yeah because churches are about entertainment now and they try to draw people into a building it's not what the Bible says. You're to go out to them, not bring the sinning world in to the church. But anyhow, so we don't want to be confused with Jehovah's Witnesses or Mormons, so we actually made up these yellow papers that cover the tracks, and it says, attention, we are not from the Jehovah's Witness cult, and we are not Mormons. Okay, and it goes on to say we are Bible-believing Christians who give this information out for free, which we do. And of course the back says something similar. But now when we look inside, what we hand out, uh, one of the things we hand out is Ken Hovind's DVD, uh, 100 Reasons Why Evolution is Stupid. We think that that's a good place to start attacking evolution. and. Uh, of course, Ken Hovind's DVDs can be copied. You can make as many copies as you want, uh, which is the mark of a true ministry, by the way. They will allow you to make copies and freely distribute. Uh, but that's one thing that we give out. Then we have a little green paper telling who we are, who we aren't. Uh, on the back, a list of free materials that we can make available to people. Then we have a track that I wrote, six easy things you can do if you want to go to hell uh, kind of approaching the gospel from a different direction uh, then we have a tract here by Dr. Terry Watkins of Dial the Truth Ministries and uh, this is about proving to people that hell is a real place and that they're going to go there if they reject Jesus Christ another thing that we give out in this our packet is uh, this little booklet by Dr. Peter Ruckman millions disappear because believing as the Bible teaches that the rapture of the body of Christ is imminent it's very near I believe and so we want people to have it in their minds this thing of millions disappear because even if they reject this even if they throw it in the trash it'll be in their minds they will be accountable and see that's the that's the good thing about being a seed sower because every time you get a seed out whether the people accept it or reject it they're accountable. In other words, if you are planting the seeds, if you're the one out there putting the seed out, it won't come back void. Okay, It will either go to their salvation or to their condemnation. Okay? So you can't fail as a seed sower. Now let's look here at uh, a couple other things. I think probably some of the best known and most effective tracks out there are Jack Chicks tracks and there are hundreds of different titles a lot of different ones these are great for just going and handing to people or for leaving in a store on a shelf or in a restaurant at, on the chairs or even with a tip at the restaurant give it to the person there the waiter excellent tracks and they're all King James Version so you don't have to worry about new version corruption uh, of course these trifold type of tracks. Uh, Dr. Terry Watkins sells a lot of these. They're very good. Uh, they're easy actually to write 
on your own. You can make your own. Very good, very effective. You can get a lot of information in these. And what we did the one time is we took a couple of these and we wrapped them up to look like Christmas presents. And then we went to these big uh, Laodicean liberal, you know, mega churches. And you can go around and because they're stiff, it's, you know, four tracks in there plus the paper, they're stiff. So you can go and just right behind the windshield wiper. And boy, in 15 minutes, 20 minutes, you can get hundreds of these things up. So that's another technique. And of course, it's, you know, they think it's a present or something, and it is, really. But uh, another thing that you can do if you want to sow seed is you can make, these are some of the ones that we made here. One has a scripture on the back, another has our address. Uh, you can hand these to people. These you can leave around. And of course, because it's uh, fluorescent orange, they're very noticeable. So uh, they kind of really stick out. Something else that you can do. These are three little tracks that I created. They're just any kind of a desktop publishing program for a computer. They'll have a thing where you can make business cards. And you can upload pictures from the internet, go to Google Images, and take those pictures and put them on. And uh, here's one hell locator. And it's a little arrow pointing straight down with the scriptures that say that hell is in the heart of the earth. And on the back is a little image of Jesus Christ on the cross. And in, in the, a short abbreviated plan of salvation. And then some websites, www.chick.com and av1611.org. So again, it's leading people. It's a seed that leads people to a place where they can learn more if they want to. This one is... Are you a sinner? On the back it has pictures of the cross and explains it. Excuse me. This one is on the NIV. And again, these are good. You can take a Bible like this. You can go into a, a bookstore and you can slide them right down. Because see, they're made on heavy card stock, so they're, they're stiff. So you can put them in a lot of things very quickly. Okay? And another way that you can get them out is gospel coins. These things are made of aluminum, and uh, <clears throat> it has on the, on the front, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. And it doesn't say our Lord. I wish it did, but, you know, they don't have enough room on there. But these are great. I mean, you can, everywhere you go, when you park your vehicle, if you're out shopping, take this when you get into your car, when you're ready to leave, Drop one on the parking lot and go. And I'll tell you, I've put hundreds of these things out, and I've never seen one laying there when I return within a day or two. They're always taken. I mean, it looks like a big coin, like a silver dollar or something. And you can, if you go for hikes out in the, in the country, hiking trails, you can put these on park benches, you can put them on rocks, and people will always take them. And as soon as they touch it, as soon as they take it and see what it is, they're accountable. Okay, it's a seed that's planted, and it'll start a conversation. Another thing that you can do is street preaching. And of course, it's good to go out with a bullhorn and hold up the signs, that's, that's great, and I highly recommend that. But there's another type of street preaching. You can see right here, this is the back of my pickup truck, some bumper stick, stickers that I was, or bumper magnets actually, that I was able to buy from Bible Baptist Bookstore in Pensacola, Florida. Uh, and this is a good way to street preach. You're getting the gospel out every single time that you drive anywhere. So those are just a few ideas for seed sowing. Uh, I'd sure love to hear some other ideas from some of the brethren out there. And um, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching.